Okay, we're live. All right, sweet. Oh, look, everything just lit up. All right, we'll give people a little bit of time to, to come in here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we are Kame AI. Uh, this is our open source uh, driving agent, OpenPilot. Uh, it's driving the car right now. Uh, and this isn't some fake stuff. You can, uh, what, everything you see here is already public. You can just go download it. Um, this is an Eon. You can buy it on our shop at shop.com.ai. Uh, it's very nice. Now, of course, since this is a YouTube Live, we're about to show you something that's, that's not public, um, so maybe you guys will find it exciting. So, uh, blinker here, a little bit to the right, and it'll automatically change lanes for me. Um, so you see here we'll do it on a curve going left. See how it does lane change on the curve. There you go. Show yeah. the wheel. I'll show the wheel. Uh, we got 15 people. We got 15 people. Maybe we should wait for a few more people to come <laughs> in, and then, we'll, and then we'll demonstrate it again. We'll, we'll make a U-turn. Yeah, Bugsy wanted to see the steering wheel. So Bugsy wanted to see the steering wheel. Right? Yeah. So it's not. Um, it's it's automatic, mm. but it requires you to look. Um, it doesn't know when it's safe to make the lane change. Um, that's your job uh, as a person. But, yeah, so I'm just yeah. going to drive. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spin the car around up here while we get some more viewers yeah. on our YouTube Live. I don't even <laughs> think, I, I think that I'm going to do the lane change myself because that's how I've always done it in the past. But you don't have to anymore. You don't have to anymore. Yeah. I mean, we're going we're gonna to get to this refinement of, uh, all right, let's yeah. drive. I'm going to do this one. <laughs> Walkstar is asking the blind spot monitors. It's not linked to the blind spot monitors yet. So any of the cars that can get them on, we're going to add it in before they ships live. Um, and mm. for reference, guys, this is a 07 feature. Mm. So this, you're going to see a few open pilot releases without this. Um, there's more to this feature than than just lane changing. But just lane changing is all we're going to demonstrate uh, for you guys today. I watched the, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but the, the full self-driving uh, Tesla video. Um, full self-driving Tesla video is very inspiring, and I think we'd like to beat Tesla to shipping all those things. Maybe it's, I don't know. We'll see what Tesla ships this year. See when I ship full self-driving. Maybe, uh, maybe some Scopies. No, what did Tesla promise you guys? What did Tesla promise this year? No, no, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be saying yeah, this here. It's, it's very alpha feature. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you guys watched my, uh, can I make a U-turn here? No, not, not maybe. It doesn't say you can. If it doesn't say you can't, you can. That's it's the California a, way. That's cool. Um, <laughs> oh, it is loud. It is. All right. So yeah. Now, and we should be able to use the blind spot monitors on the Toyotas. We should be able to use yeah. this, not the highway as well. Yeah, it should work. Oh, 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 it's, oh, it's <laughs> gonna double! <laughs> it did too. Oh, and it's still doing it. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, oh. it switched out of it. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess there was no right lane. Yeah, so oh, it didn't stop. Oh, no, see, this is why we gotta use neural networks for everything. Yeah, we can't have any hex to detect when the lane change is over. Exactly, we gotta remove all the hex, guys. <laughs> but this is not, so I know there's some forks with open pilot lane changes. Um, this is not hacks. <laughs> this is trained on probably a million lane changes that you guys yeah. did in real life. Maybe a hundred thousand? Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Th I think, I think yeah. in order to make this model, it has watched you humans, yeah. users of OpenPilot, yeah. do uh, 100,000 yeah. lane changes. And that's how yeah. it learns to do the perfect lane change for every situation. And that's so. the beauty of deep learning. So yeah, there's a secret input to the model that we normally set to, dr <laughs> to driving straight. But when we do the lane change, we just ask the model to do a lane change. And <laughs> we can tell them secrets? I yeah, I did. I guess oh, we tell them the secrets. Yes. It's going to be so, public soon anyway. So there's a question, how is speed controlled during the lane change? Um, so that we don't do anything special with the 
with the speed, but once it starts doing the lane change, the leads should switch. Yeah, the, the leads mm -hmm. are predicted by the same model mm -hmm. that is very aware of the fact that we're doing the lane change, so it knows which car is the lead mm -hmm. car. Uh, so here's a full mm -hmm. blinker on. We gotta watch that guy in my, my uh, mm -hmm. rear view, but we're good. Yeah, Just little nudge. Lane change, little nudge. Automatic lane change, mm -hmm. and then it finishes. Yeah. I wish we could. I wish we could auto turn the blinker off. Oh yeah, that would be nice. That would be nice. Oh, can we? <laughs> can the software do it at all? Like it's no, it's mechanical. No. Yeah. Um, so we could. Yeah, we could yeah. keep doing it. Oh, oh, we're back. We're back. Yeah, I think if we're in the middle of a lane change maneuver, even if we're just, I'd like to be able to just tap up. Yeah, and, and then nudge, start. Yeah, now we'll then, cancel. Yeah, yeah it's I'm, gonna cancel. Oh yeah, yeah so that doesn't feel great. Yeah. We did it okay, but yeah. it feels like it like lost. That's the beauty of neural networks though, it's all fuzzy. <laughs> so like okay. um, and you can make multiple lane changes. Mm. You just give it one nudge for this one, change lanes. Yeah. And we'll give one nudge for this one, change lanes again, boom. Yeah, so the procedure is you turn on the blinker and then you give it a nudge when you think it's clear. And this is how we're going to proceed with a lot of these sort of features, right? Um, my experience with navigating on autopilot is that it increased uh, anxiety in a lot of ways because you weren't sure when the car was going to make the lane change. Um, I'm sitting there and I'm like, from my perspective, it looks totally clear. I have no idea why the car isn't going. Um, part of that can be fixed with communication, but part of that is you want to be in control of your car. Everyone wants a magic wand. Everyone wants a wand that they can wave and like make the lane change, right? But they don't want the wand to tell them what wishes they want. Now, okay, ideally it would monitor your blind spot and tell you when it's safe to go and you just have to press, you know, engage like, like Captain Picard. But, um... Yeah, but I kind of like the steering wheel to acknowledge the engage. It's yeah. like, it's a nice button to... It is a button. It's yeah. A button. No, this is not in Devel right now. This is a, a very, <laughs> a very early preview of Zero Seven. There's going to be a, a bunch more Zero Six releases first. We've actually stripped these weights out of the model, so good luck trying to add it yourself. <laughs> There's a secret uh, 512 dimensional vector that will enable lane changing in our <laughs> model. <laughs> um, any other questions from now? Uh, can I scroll back? You guys are killing it. Thanks, guys. No, I can't see old messages. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this will be coming. This will be coming to uh, OpenPilot 0.7, uh, available on an Eon near you. Because uh, <laughs> if we run out, you know, yeah. you won't get this. You'll be like, man, I wish I bought an Eon when they didn't run out. Does the time of day affect the lane change performance? No, it shouldn't. Time of day shouldn't mm. reach it. Like, mm. The way that this mm. thing learned to change lanes was mm. by watching all of your lane changes. Yes. So if all of your mm. lane changes happen at all times of the day... Yeah. yeah, and you have to keep the blinker on right now during the lane change, but that might change. How many lines of code is the lane change? Uh, maybe it's like 50. 50 lines? Yeah. Like everything is deep learning. I think once you're, yeah, once it's like committed to the lane change, once maybe you're yeah. for half a second. Oh, oh, uh, uh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just need some work. It wanted to go for the double there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need a better way to detect when the lane change is done. When the lane change is done, yeah. Yeah, now we have some hacky way by looking at the lane. Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess that was the problem. I just thought it was. Uh, yeah. I lower the speed here. This should be, and this is an example of like people think Open Pilot is only for the highway, but um, no, I don't, you know, no, piss this guy off. Just because I turn the speed down. But people think Open Pilot is only for the highway. It's not. Uh, it works decently well in places like this. Oh. Well, yeah. Yeah, so there is a text text stream fast. command to turn the blinkers on, but that's like a very debuggy command and it stops working when the car moves. So maybe that's a different one, but I haven't found it yet. Yeah, if anyone figures out how to turn the blinkers on. Yeah. We'll, uh, 
Well, I guess we won't do that to the ship now. But there's, there's no point in a level two system to auto. Well, if we could automatically turn it off, that's a whole different thing. But yeah, but then the stalker's still there, well, so. I don't know. Is there? There's not a way to. Uh... I mean, maybe if you put it in a debug mode, it will. It won't work anymore. But... No, I'm wondering. Is there a way to electronically pop the stalker? Is that? Is the no. turn back just mechanical? I think it's mechanical. Mm. Is it? Mm. Yeah, my, in my parents' new BMW, it's just not physical anymore. So it's like a double press stalk. Hang on, hang on, I can tell. No. Well, not, Bo Boxy like says it's mechanical, but. It's, oh, yeah, maybe. maybe no, it's, it's the wrong It's street. actually weird. Oh, oh oops. Yeah, well, sorry. <laughs> well, actually, well, we're going to make a small detour. <laughs> it's weird, like. Oh, I'm going to make a big detour, man. Yeah, I have to make like oh, three. Oh, mistake! I have to make like three rides now. What a mistake! Uh, well, we're learning about how the uh, automatic blinker off works. <laughs> so, any more questions about the lane change? How many people we got? Uh, twenty-four. Twenty-four. Where are all the people? Well, I guess we didn't post on Twitter. Post on Twitter. Yeah. Who follows us on YouTube? No. Well, 24 way. people apparently. 24 people. You're right. It is all about that Twitter. Yeah, that was nice about the Scopies. Then everyone got a notification. Oh, because it was Twitter related. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Didn't like. So, that. so a while ago, apparently you said we're we're never gonna ship automatic lane change. What changed? Well. <laughs> all right. So here's what changed. Tesla, we're never going to ship stop signs until Tesla does, right? So we're like, you know, it's a waste of time to even think about stop signs until Tesla's figured it out, right? Because maybe it's really hard and we can let them figure out whether it's really hard or not. But they've already figured out lane changes and it actually turns out to be easy. Let's see. Oh, oh, look at this. A lane change through an intersection. See? Now what can do that? Only us. <laughs> So we were never going to ship adjustable following distance. Wait, we're not, though. <laughs> no, that's uh, no. adjustable following distance is bullshit. No, 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 no. We have to ship. Did I ever say, did I say we were never going to ship automatic lane change? I don't know. Maybe you did. I mean, no. It's not. It's, 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 um, you do the lane change. It does it for you, but. Yeah, I think we should call it assisted lane change. Assisted lane change. Yeah, I think that's like. Much more regulator friendly. Yeah, Greg came up with that. I like yeah. it. Yeah, no. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. What is Alka? Yeah, that's like automatic. Is that a real thing or did like Arn make that up? I think it was Arn that made <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Scopies. Oh, when is the next Minecraft stream? Oh, uh, maybe I'll stream tonight, actually. I was thinking about streaming, but maybe nap first and then stream. Not cool. Minecraft, though. Hacker rank. Bye. Hacker rank. <laughs>